throughout the ages, there only comes one artist who defies the laws of entertainment. The greatest rapper conquered that. And with failure, lost it all. He was just really frustrated. Everyone had turned his back on him because he wasn't doing number one hit singles at the moment. Very frustrated, man, with everything that was going on. You know, the media started attacking my character. And uh, yeah, man, I was frustrated, man, for a long, long time. The demands on him became more intense. And um, he didn't want to do nothing but eat. Eat and sleep. After he came from out of that depression, that's when he said, look, I went through this phase where I, I felt like I wasn't on top. Man, dude, I just, you know, I started going through a lot of things, you know? It was hard. Um, you know, what really got me to it and what really had me there was, a lot of people don't know, but it was like my humanitarian work in Africa. You know, yeah. that really, that really got me through it, you know, just, yeah, man. We were out there in India, too, doing the humanitarian work. I mean, it was just, uh, I was up in the schools. I was teaching kids how to speak English. You know what I'm saying? It was beyond me. Beyond me. Yeah, that was I mean, in the beginning, it was all good. I was doing my thing, and I was, and I was feeling good, you know? And, you know, I got the cover of GQ magazine. Yeah. Uh, that was amazing to me. You know what I'm saying, just being able to be on uh, GQ. Like, I think that was a really big year for you, wasn't it? Weren't you on Double uh, XL too? Yeah, cover? I was on Double XL. I was on the cover of Double XL magazine. That was shortly uh, after you signed with. Uh, uh, Shug Knight, yeah, Shug Knight had signed me. And I was on the cover of Double XL. Doing my thing. And, uh, you know, it was funny, man, because because of me shine, signing with Shug, it was like me and Am just kind of like weren't cool no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, our relationship just kind of disappeared, you know what I'm saying? So that was the whole Eminem situation, you know what I'm saying? But See you guys. So how's, been, how's the studio been for you, getting back into it? You know, it's been a little while. Oh, it's good. It's good, man. You know, I actually called uh, Justin Timberlake to do a song. He's dope. Studio. So I mean, like, so it's like once I got back in the studio, it was kind of like, it was, it was on and pop, you know? At that point, it was, as the kids like to say, on and pop. No more depression comes thanks to the humanitarian work. But he would only feel right when he returns to the cover of Ford's magazine, where he feels that is his number one place, cause money makes him happy. It's an e-true Hollywood story of depression, money, and failure.